Okay, cool. So we have our uh, front end and we have our back end. How do we stuff these into Docker containers? Uh, well, we already have the back end. Uh, how do I, so I said that wrong. How do we run them together in Docker containers? Uh, Docker time, Docker file. Okay, so the front end Docker file is going to just be a uh, Nginx. So I'm just gonna go grab a sample, uh, react app docker file engine. This is what I want. Okay. So we're using node 18, setting a work dir of app. We're copying package JSON. I don't know why you don't just this we're installing the dependencies we're running so we're going to yarn and we're going to build and then we are going to create a production server We're going to copy from the build, so that's this, when we talk about this later. We're copying this app build, so we don't have all this other trash and no modules and stuff. Um, and then we're going to put that in the user share nginx. And then we're going to run the command nginx g daemon off and expose port 80. So let's see if this builds. Docker build dot tag front end. I think I need to do um, I think I need zap. Oh actually I think it I think it went, so we don't need that. I'll pause while it builds. Okay, that finished. Let's see uh, if we did that correctly. So we're going to go back here and say images front end run. We are going to do 81 to port 80. Okay, so then if we go here and we go to localhost 81, there is our app cool and so now he's running on 81 um that's cool and then we could go here and we could say um first well let's go ahead and rebuild this back in I'm gonna pause what it builds okay so that guy's done so we could go here we could say back end and we could start this and da, 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 da. oh we forgot to do that I'll rebuild that want to map 80 80. 8080, we'll run that. Now we see we have the two, um, our front end and back end. So now if I go over here and I look in the console and I click this, I should expect hello world. And if I click the network, I can see here that this was a request to localhost 8080 hello of Git. And we had a response of 200 and in the response, we got our hello world. So that's cool. We ran these in Docker, but that didn't, that really wasn't convenient to do. So let's do this a better way. We're going to create something called a uh, Docker compose. Okay, and then that looks like this. So we're gonna say backend 
and we're gonna say we could do this this would work um, where we have the image of backend and we're mapping the port 8080 of our local environment to 8080 so that would work and we could do front end and say image uh, did we call it front end yeah we did and ports uh, 80 to 80 and okay this is going to work just like this so if we do that and we say docker compose up and we go to local host now because we ran to 80 and we make sure in our console that when we click this we get hello world see now instead of having to do all those clicks in docker um, and or in the command line, um, I can bring it up as a stack, as a Docker Compose. And so uh, I get that in the IDE as a stack, you see, and then the individual containers here, and their mapped ports and information about it and the logs, uh, all that cool stuff. So uh, I'm gonna close this by Control D, uh, I'm sorry, Control C, um, and then I'm gonna do one more thing. What if I wanted these to build every time right so we're going to do this we're going to say build context uh, back in and we're going to say docker file docker file we're going to do the same thing here we're going to say build context docker file da, 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 da. boom and see now it's going in and building those docker files for us so that each time that we run this it will be uh you know the images will be current uh, and it, we can edit this, bring it down, bring it back up. We don't have to go over, build the image, um, and then start the Docker Compose. It can be one thing. So this is just going to do exactly what we've already done and bring it up. We've already seen that it works. Let's recap. What did we do? Well. We have we took our front end and we shoved it in a Docker file by using the node base image and then copying our directories into our working directory of app. We then ran yarn and yarn build in that build container. And then we grabbed the Nginx um, contain uh, image and we're going to labeled it as production and we copied from our build container our app dash build which is the um, static assets generated when you do a yarn run build and we put those in the user share nginx html folder which is the default folder that nginx expects static html assets to be located at we then said expose 80 and uh, for the port, and we are saying when this runs, we want to run the command nginx g daemon off. Cool. Then we built that, we ran it in Docker, and then we said that was boring, so then we put it into a Docker Compose. And then we added it, we edited the Docker Compose to build the images every time we start the Docker Compose. It's a lot, but um, we've learned a lot here. So. Take a pause here, uh, come back later.